It, it definitely has an impact, Tommy. And you know, as a as a national security professional, was Trump spokesperson at the State Department for the last two years of his administration. I looked at all this and I thought, listen, there's a million lawyers that are that are looking at what Hunter is doing. I'm not a lawyer. I you know I can't go in there. But about a year ago, uh, I it started to you know bother me these connections that Hunter had with uh, uh, with businesses from nefarious regimes, especially from China. Why does it matter about doing business in China? Because there's no such thing as a private sector in China, right? Every company there is beholden to the Chinese Communist Party. So um, one of the things when I started looking about a year ago, I wrote this piece for the Spectator magazine, is I wanted to look at how. Uh, uh, Hunter's business dealings, how that may have affected his father's uh, oversight of the China portfolio. Now, what most people forget, actually, is that then Vice President Biden uh, was put in charge of the China portfolio uh, by President Obama. Uh, he had an incredibly close relationship with Xi Jinping, who is now, of course, the leader of China, the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. Um, they had a close relationship even before he became premier. So one of the things that uh, you know is very troubling. Uh, let's just say we'll see if if President Biden actually financially benefited from his son. There's a lot of smoke there. Um, one of the things that's troubling is when you start to look at the number of business business trips uh, that his mm -hmm. son, that Hunter Biden took uh, with the vice president, uh, the number of meetings that he were in, was in, and then you start to look at what happened, what did China do to the United States while the vice pre then vice president Biden was in charge of the Chinese portfolio? Well, first of all, you saw the militarization of the South China Sea. You saw the Chi you saw the Chinese Communist Party steal. Uh, hundreds of thousands of information of, of people who hold top, seat top secret clearances in the government. I was one of them. Wow. My husband was one of them. We both got the letters in the mail that said you were potentially a part of the compromise. And I thought, okay, great. What are we going to do about it? Um, and, and so, and, and that was incredibly nefarious because these are not just government employees. These are people that hold top secret clearances and the, and the, all of the information, every detail about our lives. So they stole that information. Uh, they continued the theft, uh, the intellectual property theft in the billions of dollars uh, of American businesses. And essentially, I think it was 2015, uh, President Obama and Xi Jinping uh, had a press conference in the Rose Garden. This is after the Chinese had stolen uh, hundreds of thousands of people's security clearance information. And in that Rose Garden ceremony, Xi Jinping um, said, I'm not going to do all of these things. We're going to reset right. the relationship. Fast forward, they did all of those things. So essentially, the Chinese were robbing us blind, Tommy, in many ways uh, during Obama's presidency. We completely had our eye off the ball because we had this like weird theory that we were going to just accept China's rise and that instead of fighting them, we were going to slowly, you know, just capitulate, slowly watch them take over. And it took someone like President Trump saying, Stop. 